Hi, I'm Dr. Beverly Cassidy. I'm a psychiatrist working with the Fountain of Health Initiative, a national brain health and resilience promotion project. No matter what age we are, there's a few things most of us want for our long-term health. We'd like to maximize our health spans and minimize our disease spans, but as most of us know from personal experience, actually optimizing our health behaviors can be hard to do. This video offers a quick three-step protocol to invite health behavior change in frontline care. The tools are grounded in the principles of cognitive behavioral therapy, including smart goal setting, focused on three key areas of health behavior, physical activity, social connection, and brain challenge. And they're quick and easy to use. They take about 10 minutes of time with two 10-minute follow-ups. So let's take a closer look. Step one, offer to assess your patient's health and resilience baseline with a short questionnaire. The questionnaire consists of five self-rated questions, yielding a total score out of 50 points. The questionnaire can be reviewed in the office and used as a baseline for inviting behavior change. Step two, review the questionnaire results and set one small goal in one of the target health areas, physical activity, social connection, or brain challenge. You can use the office laminate to look at sample goals and to review the specific evidence for changing behavior in one of those areas. Once a goal is set, write it in the take-home goal sheet for the patient and in the goal doc sheet for the chart, which could also be scanned to the electronic medical record. Step three, follow up. Set up two 10-minute visits, preferably in the office or they could be by phone, about one month apart. Acknowledge any progress and either renew or revise the goal, or set an entirely different goal in one of the other key health areas. In the final visit, repeat the health and resilience questionnaire to look for any changes in health behaviors. So now let's look at these steps in action. This is Dr. Cindy Forbes. She's a family doctor in Halifax, Nova Scotia, who in real life uses Fountain of Health tools in her office. Today, she's gonna to role play an office visit for us with Maureen, who's acting as her patient. Maureen just took five minutes to fill out the health and resilience questionnaire in the waiting room. Here you go, Dr. Forbes. Thanks, Maureen. Thanks for filling out this questionnaire. It's gonna help us to see how you think you're doing with some key areas of your health. And from looking at this, I can see that you're doing really well socially. You're finding time for your family and friends, and that's a really important part of being healthy. But it also looks like you think you could be doing more physical activity. Mm -hmm. Is there some goals that you could set that are achievable within the next few weeks? I know I have to do more, but I don't have a lot of time. I know life can be busy, but is there something that you really enjoy that's physical? I love walking my dog, but, and I know I don't get out as often as I should. So how often do you think you could get it? I probably could get out once a day. For how long? Say about 10 minutes. Perfect. So why don't you write it down? And so you'll have a record of it. And I'm going to write it down as well, so I'll remember. And why don't you check back with me in about a month and we'll see how it's going. That's great, thank you. Now supposing Maureen had said no to that invitation for health change. If no, that's fine too. The area has been identified and can be explored at another visit. The key here is the invitation and the willingness to follow up in an open, non-judgmental way. So now let's focus on step three, the follow-up visits, assuming that a goal was set. Was it attained, exceeded, partially achieved? In all cases, it's important to acknowledge any positive changes and to invite the patient to renew or revise the goal or set up a different one altogether. We hope this short video helps you navigate health behavior change more easily and effectively in your own work. And we'd love to hear about your experiences using the tools. Contact us at info at fountainofhealth.ca and all best wishes for your health and resilience from all of us here at Fountain of Health.